Jeremy Osterberger here with Bic Magazine. I have Jerry McCleary, Chairman and CEO of Covestro. Mr. Jerry, how are you? Very good. Great. Thank you for uh, being a speaker here at the Gulf Coast Industry Forum. You're very welcome. My pleasure. So, so Covestro has had a presence in the Gulf Coast region for about five decades. Uh, your largest site is Baytown. Correct. So um, uh, obviously you've been here a while. Of course, uh, uh, most people uh, know Covestro formally as Bayer Material Science. Correct. For those that uh, mm -hmm. aren't aware of the Covestro yeah. name. So um, I want to get into, Jerry, a little bit about um, some of the things you covered. One of which was Covestro's goals. Can you tell mm -hmm. our audience a little about those goals and revisit what you said in your presentation? Yeah, well, what, what, um, a couple years ago, what we came down to when we started, we carved out Covestro, we wanted to look at sustainability. We thought that we had to, we wanted to be part of the solution for sustainability. And that a lot of companies like ourselves thought that they, why would they be part of it? Aren't we the ones that are causing issues? And, and then we took that around and said, no, no. We just got to push innovation. We got to start looking at our projects, our R&D spending, and how we can help solve the issues, but also push our business forward. So we, you know, we have five goals. We got to move. You got to want to is one is your R&D spend, you know, and the thing about R&D spend is today is that we're gonna we're, we target an 80% of all of our R&D project spend to be focused on the UN Sustainable Development Goals to make sure that we're making progress in those targets. So, well, we want to make sure we improve our carbon footprint, but we're also going to improve the environment and, and also our prosperity, so we have to balance all that out. But we have goals in reducing, uh, you know, CO2 emissions. We're looking at new innovations, how we can do that. We're looking at circular economy, how we can come up with new innovations to use more of the waste CO2. How we can look at innovation to bring back plastics and take plastics to energy. There's so much more you can do, but once you cite that goal, that strategy and that mindset, our people can develop anything, but we also got to look at partners in the industry too. That's right. So Jerry, getting into more technology, mm -hmm. technology you mentioned was a disruptor. There's mm -hmm. many advantages of technology. Yeah. What does it mean for jobs and workforce, and what does the future look like as it relates to uh, technology in the refining and petrochemical industry? To me, this is a, this is to me is the biggest uh, maybe challenge or unknown. The one thing it is known is that automation is here. You're seeing artificial intelligence. You're talking about uh, digitalization. You're talking about a lot of things that have to do with technology. When you look at that, is that there's a lot of people who are doing those type of jobs and activities. So those type of jobs might be changing. So you have to get new skill sets. I will look at how do you transition from what we're doing today into that new era of technology and how that impacts the way we do business, our business models, how we take product to market. And uh, they can be very large dis you know, disruptors in this area. But our job is to stay in front of this and learn to make sure we can be part of that success and sustain our business. And so we're not afraid of it, we're embracing it, but there's a lot to learn. And technology changes so fast, sometimes we don't know what is really coming that can uh, maybe impact us. But we look at this as a great opportunity for all of us to really come up and build a, the best company in the world. So Jerry, another thing you covered was sustainability. Mm -hmm. What does sustainability mean for the Cabestro yeah. and how are you addressing sustainability? Yeah, we uh, we're taking a we've, we're taking a leadership role. I don't even know if we plan to take a leadership role, but we came leaders in the industry on sustainability. Um, it's uh, first of all, our employees they expect it. Right, right. They almost demand it. They want to be part of a company. They want to work for a company who cares for the environment, who's doing the right things and moving their products and their business forward. And they have the balance between what we call the you know people, planet, and prosperity. That's really important. So if you want to attract new employees and retain new employees, and you want to know that you want to look at innovation as the foundation to drive sustainability, then you can be a leader. And uh, we're, we've got leadership roles in Baytown and Pittsburgh, our senior people. Um, we're leading that at the ACC, American Chemistry Council, and we're pushing that forward. And when you bring that industry forward into that, we want to be part of the discussion, and we will definitely be part of the solution. So, Jerry, my last question is about uh, Covestro's future. Any future yeah. plans? Uh, our readers love hearing about expansions and projects. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. anything we, you can tell us? <laughs> no, I mean, you, we carved off from Bear, you know, three sure. years ago, and you know, everybody was a little, you know, a little, you know, anxious about what could happen. Not being sure. part of this huge, large company that everybody knew. We spent the first couple of years really going out and branding our, our company name, and, right. and, 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 the, and we also had the chance, the opportunity to find who we want to be and who we are. And that's been a lot of fun, and our employees liked it a lot. So, and also, you know, business has done really well. And as far as I'm concerned, if you get the people to have a, a voice and, and have them involved, and you get them part of what they, they believe and have a purpose, you can achieve anything. And so right now, I would say our business is doing well. I think the future looks good. 
and of course, future looks good always means positive things. Well, Jerry, we appreciate your time here at the Gulf Thank Coast. You. It's your form. Always great to see you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.